Hello friends, in my previous video, I have already discussed about the time shifting, time reversal, etc. Uh, that is different uh, basic signal operation, basic discrete signal operation in MATLAB. And now in my this video, I am going to discuss a very important application on basic, uh, uh, which comes under basic signal operation, that is signal addition. Okay. So suppose you are, you are, you are given two discrete sequence okay then you have to add those two sequence okay so what in that you simply can you simply write j equal to suppose uh, one signal is j1 another simple uh, another signal is j2 then simply you can add j1 plus j2 no obviously no why because suppose my j1 is from minus 3 to 3 okay and my j2 is from minus 4 to 4 right now when you will write Z, uh, Z1 plus Z2, then in that case, what will happen? At minus 4, Z2 is present, but Z1 is not present, right? So, in that case, MATLAB will show error. So, first, what we have to do? You have to make the two sequence length same by padding extra amount of zeros in the front side and back side if required. Okay? So, see, step by step, I am explaining the code. First line is CLC, clear all, close all. Then you can write warning of also no issue in that. And then, four inputs we have to take to add two signals two discrete signals right number one is time sample range of the first signal then second input will be my first signal third input will be time sample range of my second signal and fourth input will be the second signal itself that's what i have written n1 equal to input enter the time sample range of x x is my first signal x equal to input enter the sequence this is the sequence means the first signal you just give as input n2 equal to input enter the time sample range of y all right and then y equal to input enter the sequence here we are entering the second sequence now what we have to do suppose my signal is from minus four one signal is from minus four to four another signal is from minus three to three now when you will add what will be your time sample range for addition result? Obviously, the minimum uh, that will start in the left hand side, it will start from the minimum uh, minimum time index, which is basically for both the input time sample, which is minimum from there it will start and maximum it will go up to what? Maximum it will go up to that time sample, which is maximum in between those two time sequence. Okay. So suppose, let me write here, then you can clearly understand this. Suppose one of my signal is from minus 4 colon 1 colon 4. This is my first time sample range of my first signal. And another time sample range is minus 3 colon 1 colon 3. Then in that case, my result, output result will have time sample range from minus 4 to 4. Right. So basically what we are doing, the minimum of my first time sample range is minus 4 and minimum of my second time sample range is minus 3. Right. So in between these two minimum, which is minimum, that is minus 4. So that it will start from minus 4. That is minimum index between minimum of my two input in time sample range. Okay. Similarly, if you consider the maximum time sample range of my output sequence, you can find that maximum time sample range for my first signal is 4 and for second signal is 3. In between these two maximum is 4. So it will go up to 4. Basic signal operation, basic concept of DSP, fundamental concept of signals and systems. No need to explain much, right? So basically that's what I have written here. Now, you equal to minimum of minimum of n1 comma mini, mini, minimum of n2 n1 and n2 are my time sample range of my two sequences right so, uh, for those two we first calculate the minimum and among between those two minimum which is minimum that from that my addition result will start so that u equal to minimum of minimum of n1 and minimum of n2 similarly for maximum same thing maximum of maximum of n1 comma maximum of n2 like like here you just consider the example maximum of first time sample is 4 maximum of second time sample is 3 maximum in between these two is 4 so maximum of maximum of my first sample uh, comma maximum of my second sample that's what i have written here t equal to maximum of maximum of n1 comma maximum of n2 all right now See, with incrementation of 1 from the minimum to maximum, my addition result uh, time sample range will be obviously from U to incrementation of 1 to T. That's what we have calculated, the minimum time sample range and maximum time sample. Uh, using those two, with incrementation of 1, my result will be, my results time sample will be this one. 
now what we are doing suppose suppose my signal first signal is minus 3 minus uh, sorry uh, suppose let us take 3 2 1 0 1 2 3 okay 0 then 1 2 3 all right and my second sample is minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 1 1 1 that is signum function we have taken now whenever you will add what you have to do you have to make these two signal initially you have to make of same length okay then how you can make these two signal of same length see first consider this particular case okay this one so this signal for my this case suppose my this uh, for my uh, this particular example this signal is starting from minus 3 to 1 colon 3 so let me write it first so basically my first signal is range from uh, minus 3 to 3 and my second signal which is the signal function it is ranging from minus 4 to 4 okay and my result uh, time sample range will be from minus 4 to 4 which we got right now you just see minus 3 to 1 0 1 2 3 so what we have to form to add these two we have to do like this 0 3 2 1 0 1 2 3 0 okay that is we have to make these and these of same length until and unless we cannot uh, if we until and unless we make the same length we cannot add it will show error right because element by element addition will occur so what we are doing we are padding extra amount of zeros if required so when requirement occurs see this three is belonging to n equal to minus three right but my addition result time sample starting from minus four so basically for this we will consider we will uh, keep one loop from starting from the uh, i equal to 1 to length of r and if r of i so what is r r is basically storing our uh, this uh, time sample range of my output signal all right now uh, if r of i is less than minimum of my first uh, input time sample range then we are padding 0 see minus 4 is less than minus 3 so we are padding 0 then as soon as it is starting from minus 3 so it will come under this range so we are putting our signal as it is and then if it is exceeding maximum see maximum is 3 but our time sample it is going to up to 4 so if it is uh, going above our maximum time sample range then also we are adding 0 so that's what we have done here see for i equal to one colon length of r if r of i less than minimum of n1 that is if, it, if r in the uh, r uh, of i that is particular element of r is belonging to such value which is lesser than my minimum time index of input say first input signal or it is greater than maximum of my first input time signal range then we are padding zero otherwise we are putting our signal as it is so z1 equal to z1 x of temp temp equal to temp plus 1 like that we have written here we have defined z1 equal to 1 empty matrix earlier and temp equal to 1 right or from the same thing for z2 that is it may happen that your second signal has may have smaller length okay so in that case same thing you have to perform z2 equal to 1 empty matrix temp equal to 1 then if r of i less than minimum of n2 or r of i greater than maximum of n2 then we are padding 0 otherwise we are putting our signal as it is then simple we can add those two then subplot 3 comma 1 comma 1 then r comma z1 this is my first signal this is my second signal this is my addition result r comma z that's all so let us try to simulate okay understand the code make it dry run if you are unable to understand in the uh, first attempt because i can understand that it is a bit difficult i will post the same code in the description of my this video so no need to worry about code write it in your notebook try to dry run try to understand with the theory because the code is completely based on theory itself okay so now let me take the example suppose minus three to uh, three is my signal and that is three two one zero one two three okay and my second signal is ranging from minus four to four where that is signum function minus sorry that is if it is if value is less than zero it will be minus one if value equal to zero that will be zero if value greater than zero that will be one so minus one minus one minus one minus one zero one 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 all right click enter see this is our output signal this is our first signal this is our second signal and this is our third signal all right so i have i hope you have understood this concept uh, this is all for my this video thank you for watching